What's going on everyone? It's Sean from Real Sales Talk coming at you with another segment at the Outbound Conference here in Atlanta. And I managed to pull away Laura Madison for a few minutes. I've been a follower of her on, on Twitter, know a little bit about her story, but uh, many of you I think probably have yet to hear her really cool story. And uh, Laura, uh, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes to chat with all of us. Um, wh why don't you go ahead and, and talk a little bit about um, how you went for, from uh, car sales person to where you're at today. <laughs> sure, so I started in the car business. I had some initial challenges with really being able to sell and cultivate a business. I was really new to the area where I was selling, ran into some challenges. So I started using social and was fortunate enough to really kind of stumble upon a formula, um, certainly make enough mistakes as well to kind of figure out and, and um, iterate that formula. But I was really successful, especially in Facebook, YouTube, some really major kind of uh, social platforms. And so I sold cars for four years, I did that, and was again fortunate enough to have enough success with it. And then I was recruited, I work for a company now that really trains people on how to do that and I'm fortunate enough to work with Alan Ram who's been a trainer in the space of conversion and it, that's just been fabulous. Talk, talk a little <laughs> bit about some of the some of the ideas that you implemented because um, I know specifically um, the YouTube thing seemed to work very well where you were doing some reviews of cars. Talk a little bit about that because I think that's really fascinating. Yeah, I was, you know, I wasn't gravitating towards YouTube because I was familiar with video. I wasn't even as comfortable as it seems you are, you know, on yeah. camera. I just understood that there would probably be a lot of eyeballs there. There would be a lot of visibility. And so I figured if I could come up in a search, if somebody was looking for information on a new vehicle while they're kind of in the research process, that might be powerful. It might introduce us, you know, give me an introduction I might have not otherwise had and ultimately drive them in to come and see me and to work with me specifically on that car. So that was the thought is how do I review, how do I give them information that they're already looking for and try and at least kind of participate in that conversation. I, I really like the idea of, of providing value. I mean, that yeah. really seems like that's the, the angle that you, you came from. Yeah. Um, do you think that, if, do you think that could work in B2B as a salesperson in B2B, yes. and if so, how? I do, and so that's what I do now is we, I'm the director of sales for a company who sell training to dealerships. We really work in the automotive space. And so it's been really fun to kind of start over and use some of the, the you know tools but in a different way and so it, it's been interesting when we go for that right hook and we go for the ask and we haven't given value it's typically silence especially in b2b people are fatigued of asking you know of having different companies ask for their business so the biggest thing that we've been able to do that's really been successful is creating value and creating things that are timely and that really give people meaning that seems to make all the difference in both our social and our email marketing is there a place where you, because because I know a little bit about the the, the services of, of Alan Ram, yeah. are you doing a lot of free content to, to kind of pull people in, and then and then providing them the opportunity to invest a little bit more to get a little bit more deeper into some of those things that you're talking about? Yeah, certainly, and we do. We like to give a lot of information away because we think that it's really powerful, and you know, the more people know, the the better off we're going to be. Yeah. Um, but you know, a lot of the value that we can bring is on an ongoing kind of a basis, or in a situation like Alan's when he does the two and a half day workshops, there's no article I could write that could encapsulate everything, yeah. you know, that he covers in those two and a half days. And so, yeah, it's definitely uh, a fair amount of information given away, but we're not mitigating it. It's just, it's whatever, pa whatever is palatable, whatever somebody can kind of digest in a quick video or an article, and then we just go from there. Awesome. <laughs> uh, one last question. So, um, you started off leveraging video, uh, creating those videos for customers and buyers of, of cars and automobiles. What's your advice to the salesperson who would like to start using a little bit more video, and um, wh where do they start? Um, if it's a salesperson who wants to start video but understands the discomfort, I always want them to understand that I was terrible at the outset. <laughs> um, I was really, really bad. It was just uncomfortable. I was very stiff. Um, so I would say, and what I've recommended in the past, is if you want to do a video, especially if you have a product, try doing a video first of the product with you speaking, yep. with you narrating. So you're not behind the camera. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And then work your way. You know, try and at least then eventually work to a place where you can introduce and conclude the video with your face. Faces are powerful yeah. as far as 
persuasion and human connection. Um, so work your way towards that. But if you can't start there initially, if you're a B2B company and you don't have a product, maybe doing some kind of like voiceover scenario. Uh, Adobe Voice is a really great tool to at least kind of illustrate a yeah. point. Um, and then you can really start to kind of get familiar with what you sound like to other people. And I think that's a really good starting point to launch. Awesome. <laughs> Laura, thanks so much for uh, taking a few minutes to, to chat with the Real Sales Talk family. And definitely we'll have to have you actually on the show where we, we get to you know spend 20, 30 minutes together in interview and, and, and go a little bit deeper than, than we are today. So you're definitely welcome to uh, uh, join on the show. Uh, Real Sales Talk family, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next episode.